Hello and welcome back to another It Up Weather video. Today we are talking about the excessive rainfall and flood threat moving from the desert southwest into the southern plains, areas such as Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. So in a nutshell here, the Weather Prediction Center's excessive rainfall outlook is showing a 40% chance of exceeding flash flood guidance in portions of Texas and Oklahoma, and that is because this area will receive up to six to eight inches of rainfall within the next couple of days until about Wednesday. So let's take a deeper dive into this, starting off with the Weather Prediction Center. Here we have three tiers of flash flood guidance here. 5% chance of exceeding flash flood guidance is in these greens. That includes Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Louisiana. We have 15% chance of exceeding flash flood guidance in this yellow color here. That is portions of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. And then we have this moderate tier. At least 40% chance of exceeding flash flood guidance in areas of Texas and Oklahoma, even portions of Arkansas and Louisiana, very small slivers, just the north and east of Dallas. Then moving on here, so that previous was from early Sunday morning into early Monday morning. Now we're looking at Monday into Tuesday, where we have two tiers of excessive rainfall, and we have that marginal 5% chance in green, including Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, and then 15% chance, that's slight risk, in portions of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. So I want to show two tweets real quick. This is They're both from the National Weather Service themselves, and this shows their forecast precipitation here. You can see portions of Texas northeast of Dallas is in that four to six inch range here in this red. This orange is three to four inches. This kind of yellowish orange, that's two to three. This yellow is one and a half to two. And dark green is one to one and a half inches. And that extends across areas from Arizona all the way out to Alabama. So this is definitely going to be a widespread threat in multiple states, but the most severe outlook here is in northeast Texas, southern Oklahoma, southwest Arkansas, and northwest Louisiana here in this bullseye. But this will also have some benefits here, as there are going to be some areas, especially in northern Texas, Oklahoma, that will be seeing some dips in temperatures over the next few days that is much needed to kind of aid the excessive heat that's going on in this area as well. But this rainfall will also help the current drought situation. You can see here the areas of Texas and Oklahoma are in exceptional drought, the worst drought category, and this covers much of Texas, as well as other areas of Oklahoma, as well as areas even, I think, of New Mexico there. But you also have other risks here extreme drought across much of texas oklahoma and new mexico we have severe drought even extending into arkansas and then louisiana is actually best off here with the worst of the drought being moderate drought there and actually some severe drought there in northwest arkansas or northwest louisiana too and that is because this area has seen 25 to 50 percent of its normal past 60 day rainfall during the last 60 days so definitely this area needs a lot of rainfall and it is going to receive it so let's time this out for you this is 5 a.m eastern time on the 21st you can see some moisture in northern texas but by noon on the 21st you start to see some inflow some intake of moisture from the gulf of mexico and our main threat here starts at about 9 p.m. on the 21st, you start to see these consistent red and orange colors. That is heavy rainfall. In terms of decibel count, this is 35 to 50, which is closer to that range of 4 to 16 inches of rain per hour. Of course, decibel count here, this measure is on a logarithmic scale. It's an increasing exponentially as you go up here. So 
as you can see, a lot of these reds just hovering over the same areas. And that is just round one. This is by 2 p.m. on Monday the 22nd Eastern Time. Now you have round two here that sparks up here around 8 a.m. on the 23rd Eastern Time. And you can see that that lasts just a few hours there towards the end of the day on Tuesday. But the rain sticks around, just not as severe in these areas. So you're going to see areas that are going to be getting consistent extremely heavy downpours and that will have the possibility of overloading this area in terms of rainfall of course this area can definitely needs the rainfall but a lot at once can cause severe flooding concerns so here is the nam 12 kilometer models rendition of the total accumulated precipitation that is expected across this area and you can see that the NAM is showing the target, the bullseye of this rainfall being in northern Texas, eastern Texas, southwest Arkansas, and western Louisiana, where you can see some of those maroon to yellow colors. Maroon is six inches of rainfall, and those yellows start showing up around eight, nine inches of rainfall. But again, we can see flooding in other areas too. These pinks show at least two inches of rainfall and that extends from Arizona all the way out to Alabama. Then you also have lesser concerned areas but still definitely need the rainfall. This half an inch to two inch area in that blue which extends from Arizona all the way out to the east coast which is part of a whole separate system. But this area definitely needs the rainfall and is definitely going to be getting it over the next three to four days, which is great for this area. But again, we are going to be seeing some of those temperature drops as well, which is also much needed for this region. You can see here lows in portions of northern Texas down at 65 moving into Monday morning. And during the day on Monday, you can see that many of the areas in northern Texas, portions of Oklahoma, not getting out of the 60s. Then moving into Tuesday morning, you can see areas such as Dallas going as low as, or as high as 80 uh, on Monday here. And then falling into the low 70s in some portions of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex there. So definitely a much needed break from the intense heat of the Southern Plains. So a lot of benefits with this system, but of course there are risks that come along with that, especially with that excessive rainfall and flooding threats. So I hope that covered all of the situation going on in the Southern Plains here. If you found this video informative, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell so you don't miss any more weather updates. But that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.